show you my week collection. I left a couple of weeks in the UK and in Germany, so I don't have that many weeks here, but it's still quite a nice collection, so hopefully you can check it out, take it as a reference. Most of my weeks actually do come from Bodyline because for me they're a little bit skyste. You use them and you wash them a couple of times, but then you throw them away because it's kind of a bit creepy. So most of them are from Bodyline, a couple of those are from Amazon or from cosplay shops as well. If you don't like Bodyline, I'm very sorry, but I don't love Bodyline wigs. That's very sorry. I used to wear wigs quite a lot more, but ever since I got my hair a bit more brighter and also grew it out very long, I haven't used wigs that much. So this is the amount of wigs I have right now. So let's check out those styles. This is what happens when Alita sees her dream dress for half price. Oh. The pink beige was the first type of wig that I really really fell in love with and that is why I own several other pink beige wigs that have the kind of same color shading. I think if my hair was brighter, I would color it this way. The nice thing about this pink beige wig is it's really nice and long, but it's not too curly. Sometimes I will look very fake. Also, you can take those buttons off. Boop! And then it's just a nice wig in itself. I've worn it so many times that it's starting to get a bit tatty at the ends. Ooh, but I'm mentioning tatty and I'm losing my straps here. Oh my god, look at the indecency. This one has been very popular with Sweet Lolita, but it's kind of dying out. There are less and less girls who wear this kind of style. I think that fashion is almost over, but I like them still. Oh! This wig has kind of become a little bit of a trademark wig for me. I absolutely love it. I work for Decora and Pastel Fashion. I was also in the documentary about Decora Fashion, the hairstyle that I chose. It is pink and it is blonde, combining two of my favorite hair colors. Really adorable with this one. Little pigtails, they're absolutely adorable. Very favorite. I wish I could buy this again, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the shop. So I only have it once, but sometimes it's nice to wear it and have short hair and have the freedom of short hair. Split wigs! Uh, again, this one I chose because it has a blonde and a brunette side. And what's nice about this wig, if the matter where you comb it over, the way you comb it over, you can create a bit of a different look. So this one is a bit brighter. Well, if you feel like, oh well, I want to darken it up, then get this over here and bling! Darker. So that, that's very versatile, nice to wear. I wore this with decor, I wore this a little bit with Lolita, but to be honest, I don't wear it that much anymore. It is not quite Lolita esque enough, and for decor, it's not flashy enough, but still, nice little style to have. So, this one here is a very, very, very pink wig. I think this was initially maybe for some kind of cosplay, but I decided to buy this one because it's not too pink, so it could still be a dyed pink hair. And I wanted to wear this one for the Andrew Pretty Tea Party. The Andrew Pretty Tea Party, and guess what? It worked! And it looked really good. Got my picture taken and all. Um, this one in Twin Tails worked really well with the quirky salopette. So if you don't want to be an elegant lady, but more of a yay, yeah, yay, yeah, go salopette quirky girl, that's the one I chose. Also, what I find really nice, it has like shorter bits of hair. I don't judge my wigs if they are for cosplay or not. I know some Lolitas do, but I don't because I think if it works, it works. <laughs> Flip. Here again, another pink beige wig. Now this one I thought pink beige, I love pink beige, like the first one that I showed you. And I bought this one again in pink beige and it was not the same. So I think they started producing them slightly differently. Look, it's very, very shiny. And to be honest, it doesn't look that good. I'm not really happy about this wig. I tried wearing it in different ways and thought maybe I could make it work, but it doesn't. It does not work. Whoop. This is another short wig. I wanted to have a short wig for freedom and there is a little less hassle to take care of. This one I also wore on the Quiet Routine makeup tutorial and there was one little naughty hair that kept like go going into my nose like this. Nice, nice color, not too shiny, and uh, well, n nice natural bouncy curls. Oh, you see it? It's doing it again. <laughs> it's also quite big, so if guys want to wear this one, it stretches like no. And another one. This one used to be my Mikuru Mikuru wig, and also my Asuka wig. So this is actually, actually a cosplay wig. Very high quality. I can straighten. I can do everything with it. It is a really nice red. Uh, it has that kind of tomboy reddish look. I really like it. Nice length. <laughs> Funnily enough, my natural hair is almost that length now, so that's weird. Gosh, time flies. 
is another pink beige wig that is different. So it had beige and pink in little stripes, as you can see. The, it's not the general color, it's two colors that come together. Uh, I bought this one as a straight one as another try to get the nice pink beige to watch the very first one that you've seen of this series. It is closer to the pink beige I wanted than the one in the middle, but it's not quite the right shade yet. But it's nice and straight. Obviously, it was in the package for a while, and so it's not so straight anymore, but that's my own fault. What do you want for Christmas, kids? Seeing that the other one was an ask wig, you might be tempted to think that this one here is a ray wig, but blink, blink, boop. This one is actually a Miku Hatsune wig. I have a whole Miku Hatsune cosplay. I brought this one with me to Japan. And it was an absolutely amazing wig. I got this one off Amazon. And it's very long and the quality is very, very good. Love it. The feel of it, the hair is not too shiny. Perfect one. It's like that long. You really have to be careful with this one, taking care of it. Be always, always sure to brush it before you put it away. Very important. Some people have ruined their Miku Hatsune wigs after wearing them only one more time because uh, they didn't brush it out properly and didn't store it properly, properly. So be sure to do that. Flip. And here we go. This is my newest addition to my wig collection. It actually came in a set together with a cosplay for Ibuki. As you can see from Dangnam Rompa. Look at those horns, they're awesome. However, it's very, very shiny, so I'm not quite happy about the shininess. I might have to see if I can tweak that a little and I need to cut the fringe. As you can see there, that is not real hair. But <laughs> hopefully I can work a little bit on this one and make it look a little bit more matte and not too shiny. <laughs> Very important point when you get your wigs, always, always, always keep hold of the packaging. Brush your wig every time after wearing it. Don't be lazy. Brush your wig. Brush it out from the bottom, work your way up to the top. Be careful about the top if you have a hairnet especially. And then be really gentle with your wigs and store it away properly. Put again the net over it, put the little fluffy paper padding into it. Don't throw that stuff away, you'll need it again. And also, make sure you invest into a nice wig cap. Everyone has their priorities and preferences. I like wig caps that are a little bit like tights, that kind of material, because they don't usually have holes in them. Also, before you straighten any wigs, be sure that your wig is actually heat resistant. Some wigs are not heat resistant and you'll ruin your wig, you'll ruin your straightener, and you'll probably ruin the rest of your room if you don't do this right. So be sure that you check if your wig can actually deal the heat deal with the heat. Be sure to tweet me or leave me a message on Instagram and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. I'll see you for another video soon. And there's something related in the info little eye symbol that is somewhere up here on your screen. Be sure to click it and check out what else I got in store for you. Okay, that's it. Bye!